There's a ton of other factors that go into the second example I gave there, but when you're making decisions to sleep with people, you're just sleeping with people. That's another number onto your body count, um, and that's really all there is to it. There's not really... That's total bullshit. That's not all there is to it. <laughs> What's up guys, John Anthony here. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a reaction to Courtney Ryan talking about body count, okay? For those of you that aren't aware, I have a considerably high body count. I just increased it by one today to 1,480. We're down to the last 20 before the 1.5K. And we'll put up my lay count progression graph. You can see it took me about 10 years after losing my virginity in 2002 to hit my first 100 girls, which I did in June 2012. Then I was able to reach the 1,000 milestone by December 2018. Um, when I came to Brazil, I was at 1,179, and now I'm at 1,480. Let's go through here. That's, that's definitely not typical. The average man has slept with either six or seven people for their lifetime, okay? But let's hop in here and see what Courtney has to say. But I wanna let you guys know we have free 30-minute calls with the link in the description and you can get on there and ask all your questions about your situation and we'll give you an optimized game plan to fix whatever problems you're running into in the game and giving you an optimized system, okay? So click on the link in the description and get on one of those calls. Okay, here we go. What do you think about body count? So today I'm gonna go over body count and what I think about it. And I'm also gonna to touch on hookup culture as well because obviously the two go hand in hand. So when we're talking about body count here, there's a ton of different things to consider, but I wanna start with the most obvious one. My point number one being, it's up to you. If body count matters to you, that's totally fine. If body count doesn't matter to you, that's fine too. <laughs> I hate advice like this. Like, trip advice. I mean, he's a nice guy, but he was like, yeah, I see all pickup strategies as, as equal. They all, uh, you know, get the guy to go take action. You know, that's like saying all poker and chess strategies are equal. Okay, including like lack of strategy. That's just simply not true. Okay, I mean, she's basically not wanting to take an absolute position about the, the nature of body count. But this whole like feel good, like, if you care about it, that's cool. If you don't care about it, that's cool, too. It's like, what's the point of even saying anything else after that, if that's going to be your position? My position before she gets in her, her analysis is, and this is, you know, hypocritical, but I don't give a shit. It's normal for a guy to sleep with lots of girls. That's what always happened in nature. Okay. Actually, in, in nature, historically, men, most men were typically not having sex, and most women were. Does that mean that women were all being huge sluts? No, of course not. Okay, they were just banging the high value alpha members of the tribe, just like in the monkey world, how you see there's an alpha leader, protector, and he fucks all the chicks. Then you have all these subservient beta monkeys. And the, the female will sometimes try to sneak away from the tribe and go fuck another alpha guy from another tribe because she's attracted to that biologically, okay? <clears throat> but I am not a fan of women having big body counts if they're going to be an important part of my rotation. <clears throat> if they're my main chick or my top three or top five even, uh, I don't want her to be slutty or, or have a high body count because I don't want to have to worry about her. Okay, if you, if you bang some chick that's like 100 plus lay count that hits the clubs all the time, then you have to wonder about what she's doing when she's not around. Okay, because that's her nature to go and, and be easy and stuff like that. So I actually look for girls that don't fuck on the first date to make main girls in my rotation and that are not, you know, big party sluts and stuff like that. Okay, let's continue on. This is a very personal thing. Sex and intimacy and hookups <laughs> are a very personal thing. This is so like PC. Sex is a very <laughs> personal thing. All right, we got to grab. I always, I always like grabbing screenshots like this. This can be a good, good image for the thumbnail here. All right, without, you know, let's keep going here. So if you're not okay with the person you're with sleeping with a ton of people before you, then that's your opinion and that's okay. You're allowed to think that. I've heard a lot of women say things like, a real man wouldn't care about body count. That's bullshit. Um, like I said, it's just giving like her tendencies away, okay? But my uncle, my big player uncle, who was a big natural, fucked tons of chicks. He's like, dude, he goes, if she's fucking you on the first night, he's like, that means she's doing that with everybody. Okay, 
he's like, you want to bring a girl like that home to mom and dad? He's like, you want to fucking, you know, get serious with a girl like that? Like, I'm, my main chick in Brazil right now, she normally waits five dates to hook up with a guy. Okay, we fucked on the second date. And she said that was the, the soonest she's ever done it before. But on the first date, when I went to kiss her after like 20 minutes into the date, she was like, oh, I should be going. It's too soon, we're moving too fast, this and that. And that's actually a good thing for, you know, rotation potential or, or getting more serious with a girl. I like to have my main girls or my girlfriends on rotation to have mostly just slept with boyfriends. Okay, that's the ideal scenario. Um, something under like 10 lay count is ideal or at least under like 15. When you have a girl that's shown past evidence of going all around and fucking lots of people, then you can expect more of the same and that's gonna be a red flag. And I simply have to disagree with that. It's a preference just like anything else that are based on the decisions that someone has made. So that would be like saying a real woman doesn't care about how much money a guy makes. Well, that's a preference just like anything else that had decisions the guy made that led up to how much money he's making most likely. And I know those comparisons aren't necessarily identical because <laughs> when you make the decision to sleep with someone, you sleep with them, that's kind of the end of it. But a guy can make a decision to, you know, be a lawyer and something could not work out or he might not make as much money as someone else. So there's a ton of other factors that go into the second example I gave there. But when you're making decisions to sleep with people, you're just sleeping with people. That's another number onto your body count. Um, and that's really all there is to it. There's not really... That's total bullshit. That's not all there is to it, okay? Like I said, like myself, like let's say the girl met me in, when I was at like 1,100 lay count, okay? It's reasonable to assume that I'm going to be keep continue to fuck lots of chicks and that's in my nature okay versus like a guy that's been with like three people he's not going to be like plowing through a ton of ass okay or be tempted to on the side because he doesn't even have the skills or experience from the past to even pull something like that off okay <laughs> so you know both people both men and women both genders i should say can garnish information about a particular individual's tendencies based on their body count. Anything else that goes into it, it's as simple as that. So really my point in saying that is that it's a preference someone has based on the decisions that the other person made. And I don't think that we should be guilt tripping people into caring or not caring. It's a personal preference and I'm simply not okay with shaming someone based off of their preference. This is just all like super PC, like rose colored glasses. If you want to care about body count, care about it. If you don't want to care about body count, don't care about it. Uh, the choice is yours. We don't want to shame anyone. You don't need to shame anyone. But if a chick's fucking super easy, okay, and she's like, yeah, I've been with over 100 guys. My experience from the past is that's like in their nature, okay? They're going to be texting with tons of guys. They're going to be on a lot of different apps. They're going to be meeting guys everywhere. And you think they're gonna they're gonna you know resist all these other advances after she just gave it up super easily for you, okay? Now this isn't all women. Like don't get me wrong. This isn't like red pill ranting about like oh yeah all women are gonna go fuck tons of guys inside. Not even close, okay? But you can garnish something as I said from the fucking statistics of what she's doing because that'll be a good predictor of future behavior. Okay, you don't need to shame them, but it's a good predictor. So whether you care or whether you don't, that's totally up to you and that's a personal decision. And I don't think we should be shaming each other for what we decide to do with our lives and with our bodies. You just simply don't have to be with a person that does that. If you're a guy who doesn't want to be with a girl that's slept with a ton of people, that's fine. That's a preference. Leave it at that. But you also don't have to go around and shame the girls that decide to do that. You can just choose not to be with them. It's really as easy as that. Uh, yeah, I'm not advocating going and like openly shaming people with a high body count. You know, women or whoever. Okay, I have a high body count. I wouldn't want to be shamed for that. But... Some people think it's gross that I fucked up people too. People, a lot of people, like, you know, girls that I met ever since I crossed 100, they're like, oh my God, 100 people. How do you sleep with 100 people? Blah, blah, Because most people think like 30 or 40 is high. And quite frankly, it's none of your business. So that's the first thing to consider. And obviously it's the most important because it's such a personal preference, okay? That's the most important thing that I want you guys to realize. You don't have to feel the same way about it that your best friend does. Your best friend doesn't have to feel the same way that the neighbor down the street feels about it. So it really is a very personal thing. Um, yeah, of course, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but it's a good indicator of how the girl behave in the future and what her tendencies are. Okay, so if you're getting involved with a high body count girl, the odds of her cheating, the odds of her, you know, having some kind of little slip up on the side, or especially if she's getting drunk all the time and then she can't even control herself, 
These are things that are indicative of what's going to happen in the future. It's not like, here's their past life. She went and fucked 100, girl, 100 guys or 200 guys, and now she met you, and now she's a church angel. No, it doesn't usually work that way. So don't feel bad for feeling the way that you feel about it. It's your preference, and it's okay. Do you need to be mean to people because they think <laughs> differently than you? No, we're going to have an open mind here. I always try to see things from both sides. I really try to be non-judgmental unless it personally affects me. So unless I am talking to someone and this affects my life, I don't really care what you do, you know? <laughs> and the second point is that people can change. So someone's past does not necessarily define their future. Bullshit. In most cases, it does. Okay. It's like this person has done such and such behavior for years and years and years. Okay. Now, uh, I'm just going to be unrealistic and with wishful thinking and think, oh, she's just going to magically change now. Okay. All this shit she was doing before that no longer is a big deal anymore. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. Because most people are not going to change. And most people are going to continue with those patterns of behavior. That's just wishful thinking. In the interest of, of time here, I don't want to go through her entire clip, but I just wanted to be clear that if a girl has a high body count, that generally means she's somewhat easy. She's talking to and or seeing a bunch of guys, etc. And you should just be very careful and probably not get serious with that girl. Okay. I've had girls like that on rotation and I tell them, I don't want you fucking seeing other dudes. Oh yeah, I won't do that, blah, blah. And then I'll catch them texting someone sometimes or something like that. I cut them off instantly. And then they'll try apologizing and, and making excuses for days. But it's too late at that point, okay? So just know what you're getting into in general if you go that route. And I totally disagree with her here that, you know, you can't learn anything there. She's just trying to be politically correct. Everyone can have their own opinion. Yeah, don't shame anyone. Yeah, that's fine. Again, I'm not saying shame them. But just take the information and make intelligent inferences about it, okay? And don't expect this wishful thinking. Hey, yeah, I banged, I banged 200 guys, uh, but I'm ready to be your faithful girl by your side. Her old habits are going to come to roost, okay, sooner than later. Not always, but in a lot of cases. Again, you're just making assessments based on probabilities, based on the information at hand. So that's it for this reaction. I'm not going to go through the entire thing. It'll just, you know, it'll probably be more of the same points. We've discussed this pretty well now. Uh, if you'd like to master your texting, online dating, cold approach, dates, rotations, your closing, etc., cetera, uh, and pack your schedule out with dates as soon as two to three weeks from now, okay, which most guys are doing, you can jump on a free 30-minute call. If you are skeptical of my program, does all the things I say it does in all the videos, and that I'm able to get you the results, check out the proof page that's in the description where we have over 200 testimonials, and we're constantly adding more. Okay, thank you guys so much. Please subscribe below, like, comment, share, and I will see you guys on a video soon. Take care. And Jay don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor. I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.